What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandy and today's video is another Amazon home decor haul. I've done quite a few recently, so I'll have all of those linked down below. But in today's video, I it's a little bit different. I am currently working on a design project with a client and I have picked up some items to style in their home, but I am doing a grand reveal with them and I had to pick up some new things to use to style their home. So some items are staying in their home, some items are coming back, but that all being said, I have really spent a lot of time on Amazon to find the best that I can. I'm loving Amazon lately too because I've noticed small business owners and I've noticed handmade items. So I do have a few of those in today's haul. But before we get started, I do wanna say thank you to Karma for partnering with me on today's video. Karma, previously known as ShopTagger, is one of my favorite apps and browser extensions to use, especially for Amazon because basically what the app is, is when you're on a website like Amazon, if an item is sold out, you will essentially tag that item and Karma will alert you when the item is back in stock or when it goes on sale. And I love that. So if there's like a more pricey item that I have my eyes on, I will tag it for it to let me know if it goes on sale. You can choose the different sales that you want. Maybe you want it to go 50% off or any price change at all. But also, like I said, it does alert you when items go back in stock. So I know a lot of the items that I share in my Amazon hauls sell out quickly. You guys are on it. I do share these items over on Instagram, so make sure you're following me over there just so you know about these items and you can get your hands on them. And I always alert over on Instagram, especially if it's a popular item, when it goes back in stock or if it goes on sale, thanks to Karma. I don't only use Karma for home decor, I also use it for fashion, I use it for all different kinds of things. My husband or design projects that I'm working on, I will do a new little list that they have. You can make different lists on the website and that way items that I'm looking and shopping with them when they go on sale or back in stock, I can let them know. So I love to use Karma for everything, fashion, home decor, you name it. My favorite feature that Karma has is actually the coupon feature. I love this because I'm not always thinking about coupons, but it will always alert me with select retailers that Karma works with if there might possibly be some coupons that I can apply to my purchase. So all you do is you click the I feel lucky and it will kind of search for active coupons that you can apply to your purchase and save a little bit of money. Now keep in mind, this is a desktop feature. So make sure or when you're checking out on your purchases that you are using a desktop to be able to use this feature. What's really, really awesome too, recently I booked a rental car and Karma has cash back and I was able to get some cash back by using the Karma app. So that was also a super big perk of the app and it's a free app. So I will leave a link down below for you guys to download the app and start using it. And if any of these items are no longer in stock or you wanna see if they go on sale, you can use the app to kind of track that that way. One of the first items that I purchased was actually, it alerted me through Karma that it was back in stock and I've been eyeing this for a while and I currently have it on my coffee table. This, but it is this handmade vessel. It is like a stone vessel. It came actually kind of dirty. So I was like, oh my gosh, I love that it's like handmade. But currently I have these olive branches in here. I've also put my pompous grass in there, my Amazon pompous grass that is, that stuff is so cute. I do have it put away right now because of the summer. I like something a little bit more green. I waited for this thing to come back in stock for a while and I just love it. I love how it has the little handles. I love that it's high gloss. It's just so pretty and I love that the opening is a little bit smaller because it's gonna give that like poofy effect but keep the stems kind of close together. So this was one of my items that I've been watching for a while. I've had it tagged on Karma 
and I love it. And I, I can't decide if I want to gift it to them or keep it for myself. I'm obsessed with it. And I just think it's a little bit different than some of my vintage pots that I have, like one back here. It just gives a little bit of a different look. But I do have another pot I want to share with you guys. So this one is a little bit more of a traditional style pot, in my opinion. And what I love about this one, this will probably be the one that does end up going to my client's home, is if you are someone who maybe doesn't collect vessels or vases, this one's amazing to have in your collection because you can use it as just a decor piece, just like this with the lid, or say you wanna get some flowers and you want to kind of have a floral display, you can take the lid off, hide this in a drawer, and have your florals in the pot, and it kind of can serve as two, two different types of home decor items. Now, this is a terracotta pot. I'd probably put a jar in there with water when I put my flowers in here, but I'm obsessed with this one. It does have a little bit of a crinkle detail to it, but it is such a beautiful piece to have. And I think it really does add a sense of cleanliness to a home. And like I said, you can keep it like this when you don't have fresh florals. Or say you go to the market and you wanna spoil yourself with some fresh florals, you can toss them in here just like this hide the lid, and it serves as a floral vessel. By the way, as always, all of these items will be linked down below along with my Amazon storefront where I have a lot of other items that I've purchased in the past. The next item is one of my favorites because it's vintage and it is a vintage Turkish rug. This is the rug right here. You guys, I cannot believe I got this off of Amazon. Are you joking? Look how amazing this is. I've already been using it, so it does have some stuff on it, but I got this rug for my bathroom. I'm completely obsessed with it. Every time I go in there, I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to link some similar ones down below. Obviously, this is a one of a kind piece, but I do, I've seen more of them, so I will link them down below. I also have seen them on Etsy. I cannot believe I got that. I am so excited about it. I think it's also a really pretty one for maybe by your kitchen sink. Things like that. I am so, so, so happy with that purchase. I love it. Some of these items I did share in an, at a recent Amazon video where I just kind of did a little haul throughout my home. So you guys are gonna maybe see a couple repeats. Um, the first one I know I shared in that haul is this little bedside table water carafe, or you can even put these in your bathroom. I love to put these in a guest bedroom. I think they're such a unique little detail that you know, say your guests come over and you have like fresh water and ice ready for them when they get there, they can just pour themselves a glass. And I just think it's such a cute little detail that I personally never see in people's houses. I like that kind of thing. Detail is so important to me, so I love that. A couple of people over on Instagram asked if it had any like sweating or condensation and it does a little bit, it's not too bad but also uh, you guys were asking how to clean it. I just bought a little, um, I have a hydro flask cleaner, but you can also get like a baby bottle cleaner or anything like that that you can kind of get in there. So I love this. I think it's absolutely adorable, but this one is kind of like that handmade kind of vibe where it just gives that organic look that I personally love for my own home decor. It's so beautiful. I love this little thing. It's just so cute and just, just another unique little detail that you add to your home or to your guest bedroom or guest bathroom, whatever you wanna do. And I just think, like I said, I don't see it a ton, so it's just something that makes me super happy. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I am a huge luxury candle kind of gal. I will drop money on candles, and I know a lot of people don't understand because they're like, wait, how much is that candle? Or wait, what? My whole family's like, girl, those are expensive, but it has a sentimental meaning to me. My mom used to love candles. I wanted to find some more affordable options that were actually good. So I was recently on Amazon. Obviously, all of these items are from Amazon, but I noticed these candles here, and they're from Brooklyn. 
Brooklyn Candle Studio. They, the packaging really reminds me of the Maison Louis Marie. I'm probably butchering that name so bad, so I apologize if I am. But the packaging is like so similar. So I picked up these just to kind of see if they were a good option. Why are you not getting in focus? There we go, look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I also think that these are a really beautiful gift idea for someone who likes candles or you kind of want to keep the budget a little bit, you know, more affordable. I think these are really, really beautiful for that. They're very, very clean, really pretty, really aesthetically pleasing. So this is what they look like in the jar, which I think is perfect for decor. I think it really does keep things clean. Oh, they smell so good. So, so good. And I will say they're not as fragrant as some of my pricier ones, but they're, they do have a, a good throw and the scents are amazing. I'm terrible at, at explaining notes. So there's the note screenshot that if you guys wanna see or pause it. And I think this one, I really feel like the names of the candles totally feel like they would be the scents. Like I've been to Maui and this smells like Maui. It's very like fresh, very like ocean scent, very, very much tropical fresh scent. I love this one. I think I burnt the Santorini one because I wanted to check out the throw. And yes, I did burn this one. Again, the quality of these are not as like nice as some of the other ones that I get, especially you can see kind of the top of this one. I don't know why candles do that, but you know, they're really good for the price. Oh, this one is so good. So this one is the Santorini. Let me show you guys the notes. Like I said, I'm terrible at this kind of thing. So I can't really explain. I've never been to Santorini, but when I think of it, I feel like this is what it would smell like. Oh, it's so good. Okay, then the last one that I picked up is called Italia. Italia, Italia. Oh, this one. So this one's a little bit more out of all three of them. This one's more sexy. Oh, it's so good. It might be the cardamom. Clo oh no, it's the clove. I do get the clove. So this one, here's the notes for this one. Like I said, I feel like these are just so chic and so, like they just are so clean and just make a space feel styled really well and they're super aesthetically pleasing. And then you guys, I totally got sold. This little lighter is super expensive, but you will have it for a lifetime. But I was like, Brandy, this is ridiculous to spend on a lighter. I've been seeing the electrical lighters, but like this one's just, you know, like, some things just aren't the same, you know? So, I don't know. I just thought this would be really pretty. You know when you have a friend come over and you're like sitting down at the couch or you're sitting down and you just wanna like light a candle. So I have this like right next to my candle on my coffee table and I feel like it's just cute. And like I said, I'm a big detail person. So I had to have this and I feel like it was such a good purchase because I'm using it all the time. It's so so cute. This next item that I'm gonna share is this vintage inspired breadboard. And I am sorry I'm sharing it with you like this. However, I can't find the clip where I share it with the rest of the items. But this is a vintage inspired breadboard. And I love this because it actually is a really good, it's really well done as far as how they finished it and how it looks. I am such a fan of these. I have a vintage one, but again, I am trying to get pieces that are new so that I can put my food on them and it's not like old and dirty and, you know, years and years of food buildup. So I picked this one up and it's so pretty. If you can see at the bottom of it, you can see a little bit more of the texture and it is just absolutely stunning. I think of like a huge bread loaf on top you know those beautiful bread loaves i will insert a photo and adding it as part of your charcuterie or even just home decor you can also use this in your kitchen to put your soaps on or a plant this is just such 
a good piece. I also picked up a set of these wooden spoons for my client. She requested wooden spoons in a utensil holder, so I picked these up and I actually want a set for myself. I love them. I think that the wood is so beautiful. This one, I am gonna return these ones just because this is a little bit of a different finish. Super strange, I don't know why, but these ones are all absolutely beautiful. I love the shape of them. I love the finish, I love the tone. They're just really beautiful, other than this one being a little bit of a different tone. So I'm gonna return this set and get another one, but as far as the quality, it is there. I also got them a set of silicone spatulas. I love these because they don't have like a separation. It's all one piece, which are super nice because you don't have them falling apart or anything like that. But I use my silicone spatulas for everything. I absolutely love them. So some of these items are, they were a great purchase. Some of them were a total fail. One of the things that was a total fail was this grinder. This is actually being returned, but I thought I would share it with you guys just in case you are looking to purchase it or you have it in your car or maybe you love it. <laughs> maybe you love it, but I picked up this pepper grinder because I've shared this one in the past. It's always sold out. So I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to try to find one just in case or like look for one to share for those who have been waiting for that one and wanting that one so bad. So I found this one and I thought it was gonna be amazing. It came in, it actually feels pretty heavy duty, but it looks really, really cheap in my opinion. Like, it just looks cheap. Let me come in close and kind of show you. I don't know, like, it just looks really cheapy. But if you just wanted something for decor and you're not really gonna be grabbing it or holding it from afar, it looks really cute. Also, the little piece that goes on the top, I feel like is so awkward. It's like, first of all, it doesn't even like stay on here. It's just kinda, I don't know. Like I said, if you want something that is just a decor piece, you might love this. But I feel like this one is such a better, and this one was really, it actually, you get what you pay for, because this one wasn't as expensive as this one, but, yeah, this one's being returned. I don't have much more to say about it other than sometimes you win, sometimes not so much. I shared over on my Instagram, you guys know, I am gonna really get back to making cocktails over on my Instagram and on the vlogs. It's been a little crazy, but um, I'm gonna get back to that. So I picked up these margarita glasses and I love these. Aren't these adorable? I just, I like to collect cocktail glasses and different things in my home just to have different options. Or when people come over, I have different options. Another thing that I got because of that reason, because I want more options and I want to be able to have those details, I got these little gold spoons and I saw Khloe Kardashian on Instagram stirring her coffee or her like collagen in her coffee. And I got on, on Amazon and purchased these. So I was totally influenced by Khloe Kardashian for these spoons. But I got these because I thought I have my little glass stirs um, from Amazon, but I just thought that these were a little bit, you know, I just thought these were a little cuter and I really love them. Also, these would be really great for charcuterie or dessert spoons. I just thought I needed these. I love them. I think that they're so cute and they're a really good gold. They're not like that, like super fakey gold. Um, I also saw this in Nashville and I fell in love with it. So I got on Amazon. However, this is one of those things where the seller like is selling only a few items and I do really, really love it. So it's a charcuterie board. I love this so much, but it gives that like vintage kind of feel, but it's new and you can actually use these. I know that I've shared some of my vintage breadboards with you guys already in, in past videos and some of you guys are creeped out by them. I'm a little creeped out by them. I don't really like to put food on them. I usually put parchment paper down and then put my food on them. But this way I can, it's clean, it's new, so I can clean it and feel comfortable putting my food on it. So I love this. Like I said, this gives that kind of vintage look and you can put like a little vintage pot next to it. 
So I know a lot of us like to go for the vintage boards, but sometimes if you go for a new board, if you do a lot of entertaining or charcuterie or things like that where you wanna be able to use your board, I would use like a vintage vessel with florals in front of it. Instead of having the vintage board, put something vintage with it to kind of help this look a little bit older or give that vibe. Next, I got these two little candle sticks. These are like tapered candlesticks. And I've had these in my Amazon storefront for a while now. I also have the, I had them in my cart for a while. I just like saved for later, but they are these super chic candle, taper candle holders. And I finally pulled the trigger. I actually am going to buy a few more. It's taken me a while because they were like $20 a piece, which I felt like was a little bit expensive for candle holders, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but I thought that these would be so beautiful for a tablescape, like a, I usually share my holiday decor and like my Thanksgiving table set up or my Christmas table. We usually do like a little brunch in the morning for Christmas and I thought these would be such a beautiful little piece to decorate with this year. So I'm gonna get a couple like throughout the months until Christmas so I have like a full little set so I have a few but they are a little pricey so I do love them though and I am going to purchase more. Next, I got some kitchen towels and these are them. So it's a set of three and I think they were like $13, I believe. These are a total Williams-Sonoma dupe. The only thing is they don't say Williams-Sonoma, but I'm gonna be honest, the quality of these feel so much nicer than my Williams-Sonoma ones. I like these a lot. I do still need to use them, but to have that look and not spend as much, I love these. I also recently saw some other ones. I'll have them linked down below for you guys as well. They're similar to these, but they come in like a five pack, I believe. So I love these. If you need some kitchen towels, these are super cute, super on trend. Love those, super timeless as well. As I've mentioned in lots of other videos, I'm slowly replacing, elevating our home, trying to get nicer items so I'm not repurchasing things over and over again. So one thing that we really needed and still need more are kitchen knives. So I picked up these ones here and you guys were telling me over on Instagram that these, oh no, 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 on my last YouTube video that these are really, really nice knives. So actually my client that I'm designing her home, she has the full set. We did not have the budget for the full set, but I got three to start with and you guys were like, those are amazing. A lot of you guys have these knives. They are super sharp, super, super sharp. We've already tried them out and uh, they're amazing. I love the look of the ones that we have right now, but honestly, they're just not super sharp and it's really, it's time to get some new ones. So to start, we just got a set of three. These are actually our most used knives out of the set that we have right now. I'm super excited to have knives. It, isn't it funny when you're an adult, what you get excited for? like? knives we got a bamboo like drawer knife block so that they can be in the drawer and we don't have them out on the counter i saw on amazon that you like have it kind of resting off the bottom but zach was putting it in here and he doesn't like how it kind of lifts up he thinks you're gonna like cut yourself so i'm trying to convince him to keep this he's not a big fan but i think it's like i think it would work really really well um, if you guys have a better one that maybe zach would like let me know right now he wants me to return this another item that is going back is this little vase and i picked this up for again the design project but once i got it and i saw how small it was i just don't know if it's going to work out for the space that i'm working in thought i would still share it because it is super cute if you have like a bookshelf or even like a dark area that you want to kind of add in another texture. I thought this was super cute. It only has like a tiny little hole so you can put like a one stem floral in here or leave it, you know, empty. But I thought it was cute. It's just really, really small. They do have a bigger one. I may get that one, but kind of similar to the one that I got from West Elm in one of my past videos. So I do like it, but again, it's just a little too small. Got this glass cut butter dish. I love this one so much. So this again is for the client project I'm working on. I got these huge 30 by 30 pillows for our bed. 
I picked these up because I recently said I wanted like a very simple bed. I didn't want to have too much on it. I saw a picture on Pinterest that really inspired me, but after living with it for a little bit, I realized that I needed a little bit more of that like hotel luxury feel. So I picked up these two 30 by 30 pillows and I love them. I just ordered linen, wash linen shams to go over the top of them. The lady is actually making them right now off of Etsy. So I'll link those down below for you guys as well. But I love these. I think that they really just elevated our bed so much more. We have a queen, so it's 30 or it's 60 inches wide. So having the 30 by 30, it covers the whole surface and really gives it that like high end hotel vibe. So I'm super happy with those. I have two more things and that is it. Actually, I don't know if I mentioned this because I don't have them with me, but I am gonna show you guys a picture of these new, I got two dinner plates and I thought these would be really cool for a charcuterie vibe as well. I'm currently holding off for plates. I say that now, but these are handmade, beautiful plates. They actually look like a set that I saw recently at Crate and Barrel. It might be the Leanne Ford plates, I don't know. For sure, I just remember passing and seeing her logo, but I don't know if these plates are part of her new collection, but these look identical, but they're handmade and they're amazing, amazing. They are so beautiful. I cannot wait to see them. Like I said, I'm probably gonna use them for charcuterie right now, but maybe, maybe I will get a whole set. And they do have a set. I'll link that down below for you guys as well. This would not be a brandy Amazon home decor haul if I didn't have a couple of home decor books to share with you guys. Amazon's my favorite place to buy home decor books. Like I've mentioned before, when I go to local boutiques, they always have these books and I love to support local boutiques, but the prices are quite a bit more than on Amazon. And your girl is, um, trying to save some money too. I am a small business owner myself, so I get it. I get sometimes when you gotta get a better deal. You know what I mean? So I got this Timeless Houses and Interiors. I have really been into Timeless. I really love to figure out how I can make my home more timeless, my home decor more timeless. I try to stay away from trends. You know, I do, I do get a little trendy, but I do try to stick with timeless. So I wanted to go through this. It's very clean decor, very, very sophisticated. So I would highly recommend this book, especially if you like that really, really clean look. It's aesthetically pleasing for stacking your books, for decorating in your home with books as well. I picked up, this one has been in my cart forever. And this one is pre-owned. You can also buy your Amazon books pre-owned. They usually have that option. I have to say, I don't know if it's discolored or if that's just the color. It's a little green, but I, Oh, this book, you guys, this book. There has yet to be a book that I love as much as my interiors atelier that I've shared with you guys so many times, but this one just might be it. So my home decor style is, it does, it's a little bit rustic. I love, I love European rustic items that are, you know, not farmhouse, but that are, like vintage and have patina and have a story and, oh, but I love texture. And this book is full of texture and ideas. Like this back here, this whole picture on the back of the book is me. A hundred percent, this would, my living room would look like this. I would take this in a heartbeat, in a second, like I, love that whole vibe. I love things to just look like they have a story and I love to buy things that do have a story and, you know, just kind of think about it. And it's just, oh my gosh, you guys, it's just so good. Anyway, I love this book. It's amazing. But that is it. That is all that I have to share in this Amazon video. I will definitely be back for more. I have more in my cart. Like I said, this is like two months of collecting these items. I'm super excited to be sharing these with you guys because they have been piled on my desk for about two months. 
So I love all of these items. Like I said, there's a few items that are going back, but I thought I would share those with you guys anyway. Let me know what your favorite item is down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy hauls, if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye.